Spain is taking on a huge project, a $25 billion undersea tunnel to Africa, right through the Strait of Gibraltar. This tunnel could significantly shorten the travel and transport time between the two continents. It is a big step that could boost both trade and tourism. Decades of design work and a huge financial commitment are paving the way for this grand construction. But what's driving such a massive investment? And how will this change the way we think about borders and distances? Today on Ultimate Megabills, we will unpack how this tunnel is being built and what it means for the future between Europe and Africa. Over 5 million years ago, Europe and Africa were joined by land, but a massive flood split them apart, creating the Mediterranean Sea we see today. This slice of water, known as the Strait of Gibraltar, is so narrow that people on the Spanish and Moroccan coasts can sometimes see across to the other side. It's only 13 kilometers at its thinnest point, to be exact. For a long time, there has been talk about building a bridge or tunnel to reconnect these continents. But despite many ideas and discussions, nothing really happened until recently. Now, with the 2030 World Football Championship coming up, which Spain, Portugal and Morocco are hosting together, there's a big push to finally get this project moving. They hope it might help handle the massive crowds expected for the games. While this tunnel makes travel easier, it is also a symbol of reconnecting two worlds split apart millions of years ago by natural forces. With this new connection, traveling between Europe and Africa could become much quicker and easier, changing how people and goods move between these continents. The Strait of Gibraltar has long been a focus for ambitious engineering projects aimed at connecting Europe and Africa. Historical proposals have included everything from damming the strait to constructing bridges, but they were never realized due to limitations in technology and funding. Fast forward to 1979, when Spain and Morocco formed a joint committee following the common Hispanic-Moroccan Declaration of Fez. Their goal was to explore realistic ways to bridge the two continents. More recently, technological advancements have revived interest in these projects, now centered around an undersea railway tunnel. This initiative would link Spain's and Morocco's high-speed rail networks, potentially transforming economic activities and travel in the region. While the project is costly, the evolving capabilities in engineering and ongoing collaboration between the nations are making this long-awaited link become more realistic. Several plans have emerged throughout the years, each attempting to overcome the narrow but difficult gap between the two continents. One of the earliest ideas came from Professor T.Y. Lin, who, in the late 20th century, proposed a 14-kilometer long bridge. This bridge would have crossed the strait, creating a direct path for cars and potentially transforming the way people and products move between Europe and Africa. However, the physical and environmental challenges presented by such a massive structure led to the proposal being shelved. In 2004, architect Eugene Sui proposed an innovative design, a floating and submerged bridge anchored to an artificial island in the middle of the Mediterranean Sea. Tsui's design aims to minimize environmental impact while providing a stable and scenic route across the strait. However, like its predecessors, this proposal was eventually considered impractical due to multiple technical challenges and high costs involved. The focus then shifted from bridges to tunnels, and in December 2003, Spain and Morocco agreed to explore the possibility of constructing an underwater rail tunnel. This seemed a more practical solution, considering the success of similar projects like the Channel Tunnel between the UK and France. Be that as it may, engineers soon faced significant hurdles. The seabed beneath the strait was found to consist of extremely hard rock, complicating traditional tunneling methods. Proposed solutions included anchoring a prefabricated concrete tunnel to the seafloor with cables, but later studies raised doubts about whether this would work well in the long run. The conditions under the sea were too tough, and the technology for building tunnels like this was still developing. 
Building a tunnel under the Strait of Gibraltar is much more complicated than the Channel Tunnel between France and Great Britain for several reasons. First, the sea is much deeper in the Strait of Gibraltar, reaching depths of about a kilometre in the narrowest crossing point compared to the shallower depths of the English Channel. The geological conditions are also more challenging. The area beneath the Strait of Gibraltar is less stable, affected by the active Azores Gibraltar Transform Fault. This fault line brings a higher risk of severe earthquakes, which adds to the complexity of any construction project. Another major challenge is the ocean currents in the strait, which are multi-directional and strong, complicating engineering work and the calculations needed to ensure the structure's stability. Despite these difficulties, recent studies have indicated that constructing a railway tunnel is still a practical option. This renewed confidence led to a high-level meeting between Spain and Morocco in February 2023, where both governments agreed to push forward with plans for the undersea tunnel, aiming to establish a direct train route from Casablanca to Madrid. This project is seen as a significant step forward in connecting the two continents by rail. While technology has advanced, creating potential new methods for overcoming these obstacles, the dream of directly connecting Europe and Africa remains just a dream, awaiting the right combination of technological advancement and international cooperation to finally turn it into a reality. The plan is to finish this huge tunnel project in about five years, which means they need to start building in the next 18 months to have it ready before the World Cup kicks off. The tunnel is not going to be a straight shot across the strait. Instead, it is going to stretch about 40 kilometers because of deeper sections in the middle. The design includes a total rail link of 42 kilometers, with most of it, about 27.7 kilometers, being underwater and the rest underground. The tunnel will have two rail tubes for trains and a separate service tunnel in between for emergencies and maintenance. A German company known for making some of the biggest tunnel boring machines, says they can make the machines needed to dig through the seabed. This means they are confident this tunnel can be built, which would drastically improve how people and goods move between Europe and Africa. Building the Strait of Gibraltar Tunnel is turning out to be a huge task, and it could cost just as much as the Channel Tunnel or more, probably way over $25 billion. There are multiple challenges making it so expensive. For starters, the area is already packed with ships and ferries. Two big ports are just 40 kilometers apart, handling around 100,000 ships a year. And there are ferries that cross the strait 20 times a day. Then there's the fact that rail networks in Africa are not really ready to connect smoothly with Europe. Political issues in North Africa might also slow things down, even if the tunnel was ready to open tomorrow. The tunnel could change a lot, potentially moving millions of tons of goods and millions of passengers each year. But switching from ships and planes to the tunnel is not going to happen overnight. The question is whether enough people and goods will switch from using ships and planes to using this tunnel. And there's a lot at stake. It's a bold plan, and while some might say it is too ambitious, advancements in technology might just make it possible. Well, that's all we have for this mega tunnel project. Let us know what you think about this plan. And don't forget to subscribe to Ultimate Mega Builds for more fascinating projects around the world. We'll be back soon with another exciting video.